Treat yourself to natural wonder. Treat yourself to relaxation. Treat yourself to family fun and adventure. Treat yourself to Old Order Amish heritage. Treat yourself to Davies County, Indiana. Settled in the rolling hill country of southwest Indiana, Davies County, Indiana owns a truly unique mix of natural and cultural resources. From its Old Order Amish heritage to Glendale State Fish and Wildlife Area, Davies County, Indiana is a true treasure for anyone planning a special family getaway. Named for the Virginia-born John Hamilton Davies, a distinguished Midwestern attorney and Mason who was killed at the Battle of Tippecanoe in 1811, Davies County, Indiana possesses a rich history and more than a few interesting legends. Like the railroad ghost at Blue Hole, which legend claims is the engineer of the ill-fated engine number 401, which steamed over a collapsed trestle and into the swollen White River in the spring of 1913. Davies County has a rich history of uh, the railroad here. The railroad came to Davies County in the 1800s with the uh, Ohio and Mississippi. Shortly after the Civil War, Davies County residents learned that the mighty Ohio and Mississippi Railroad Company was considering constructing a massive railroad yard and repair facility in southern Indiana. Competition for the facility was fierce among neighboring towns, but it was the tiny city of Washington that rose to the occasion. In the middle of a nationwide depression, city fathers raised an incredible $70,000 to help pay for the facility's location, and in doing so, successfully coaxed the facility known in railroad circles today as the Shops to the Davies County seat. We had a uh, Shops here in the city of Washington. Uh, in fact, the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad called it their Shops Indiana is what, the way they referred to us. Uh, that's where they repaired all their trains at. They had a major roundhouse here. They built a depot here in 1905. Davies County happened to be the uh, headquarters of the St. Louis Division of the B&O Railroad, Baltimore and Ohio, that came here and replaced the Ohio Mississippi. Today, Railfest provides an annual celebration of this rich railroading tradition and is just one example from the full slate of unique and exciting special festivals and events taking place in Davies County throughout the seasons. Today, you'll see a railroad facility that's building uh, the racks to haul cars on trains. So we're still engaged in our rich railroad history here. Another story unique to Davies County involves the three sons of Washington, Indiana patriarch Zeba Graham. The trio formed the Graham Brothers Truck Company, whose popular vehicles became an instant success on the national scene. Widely held as the pioneers of the pickup truck, the Graham Brothers moved their operations to Detroit in 1927 and sold out to the Dodge Company shortly thereafter. Stick around, we're headed outdoors in Davies County to Glendale State Fish and Wildlife Area, one of Indiana's most diverse and productive state properties. Glendale is a 8,060 acre fish and wildlife area. Probably one of the major draws for the property is the, the lake, Dogwood Lake is 1,400 acres. Uh, they left the timber in the lake when they, when they built the dam and flooded the water. It's known for its fishing, especially the panfish. Bluegill and red ear uh, are the most popular fish. We have a lot of guys that fish for bass. Some of the bluegill or red ear will get up to 12, 13 inches. So it's, it's, it's pretty impressive. And uh, we have boat rental that's available. Right now they're $20 per day uh, with moors, life jackets, and an anchor. We have a 10 horsepower limit. We have a couple boat ramps here on the property, one on the uh, kind of northeast side that people can use. We also have another ramp over near the dam that people can use and launch their boats from. Being a fish and wildlife property, hunting is another use of the property. It's a multiple use property. There are deer, quail, rabbit, turkey, squirrel, 
Um, most of the game that you can hunt in Indiana, we have here. Uh, the only one that would be absent would be grouse. Another draw here that we have is this is the only fish and wildlife area that has a, a modern campground. We have 121 campsites. Of those 121 campsites, 67 are uh, electric. They have electric hookups. Then you also have the use of the comfort station with your showers and restrooms. And we have several people that will come from around the state to hunt the property and they stay in the campground and you know you still have use of the electric. Uh, you still have that that opportunity to use the electric for the campsites. You just don't have the use of the comfort station. Glendale is a a good place for a family to come and visit. You know, we're working now on some of our recruitment programs for hunters to try and get families out to hunt. Uh, fishing is also a, another family activity that people can enjoy. And you know, besides having the lake where people can fish, we also have ponds that are available where they can fish from the bank. If they have a small boat, they can take boats out on many of those ponds. And they range anywhere from you know, maybe a half acre up to 15 to 20 acres. Can you get him in? Davies County, Indiana has everything right, the outdoors here. person and their family could want, including the truly unique West Boggs Park. West Boggs Park is an excellent park for uh, family activities. It has uh, boating, skiing, fishing, jet skiing. Uh, there's always activities planned there for the children when you're there. Uh, a lot of times you'll see things like bands playing in the park and they have uh, craft shows, uh, car shows. You can always find some type of activities to do there. Uh, the park property it totals 1,500 acres, uh, 622 acres of that water. Uh, a good portion of it's also buffer zone, uh, wildlands that we maintain around the lake basin. Uh, and about 600 acres of that is the actual main recreation area here, including the campgrounds. The basic concept in our campground efforts is uh, what we call universal design. So everything should be available and usable by everyone. The entire focus of programming here at West Boggs is to provide something for kids to do, uh, kids and adults to do, uh, on a nonstop basis throughout the summer. You'll quickly recognize that when we talk about family friendly, we talk about a safe place for your kids to be. Uh, if you'd like for your kids to be able to go out, not worry about them like we did 30 years ago when you were kids, West Boggs tries very hard to provide that atmosphere. 250 modern campsites, uh, playgrounds, uh, nine hole golf course, full service Amish buffet restaurant, uh, tennis court, basketball courts, and of course the main thing is the lake itself. The Department of Natural Resources did a total fisheries renovation here in 1994. Uh, the restocking after that renovation included largemouth bass, uh, black crappie, bluegill, channel catfish, and red ear. Success story there has probably been the largemouth bass. This, this lake has to be one of the hottest locations in southern Indiana at least right now for largemouth bass. This spring we were constantly seeing uh, seven, eight pound fish coming out on almost every tournament. Uh, and sometimes two or three of those in a, per boat. Uh, about eight years ago we started developing hiking trails like most park systems at that time. Uh, strictly hiking trails. Our enforcement staff kept coming back to my office and telling me they could not control golf carts on the trails. Uh, we, we at that time allowed golf carts in the campground. Now, that went on for two summers and they came to me again and said they couldn't control, didn't know what to do about the golf cart problem on the new trail system. And I said, well, I think I know. Our customers are trying to tell us something and we're not listening. So we designed the trails for golf carts. Unfortunately, we can say we have not had a single accident trail system. Uh, it works very fluid. It works very well. One of the uh, real interesting things about the golf cart trail program uh, has to do with elderly people or people with some sort of mobility problem. And there's hardly a day goes by in the summer that someone doesn't stop and thank us for this. Uh, where they've had people who've had a 
outdoor life for most of their lifetime and because of some illness or problem haven't been able to do that for 10, 15, or 20 years and find out that now they can again just because of our golf cart program and they're very appreciative of that. As the camping season and fishing season begins to wind down, however, we do encourage people, we do allow waterfowl hunting on the lake. Uh, we do almost anything you need for us to do to help you kill Canada geese here. Uh, carry our donuts and coffee. We carry your donuts and coffee, uh, carry it, eat bacon and eggs in your duck blind. Uh, now we've got a serious Canada goose problem here and, and we'd appreciate all the help we can get from hunters to help us take care of that. West Bog is an excellent place to base your hunt from if you need a place to camp while you're hunting somewhere else in southern Indiana. We welcome hunters all, all season long. There's more family fun and wild adventure ahead from Davies County, Indiana. You don't have to look too far to notice Davies County's unique Amish heritage. Nearly 700 Old Order Amish families make their homes in Davies County, some of whom are direct descendants of the first Amish people to move to Indiana from Switzerland around 1883. We have uh, 22 Amish church districts in the area that make up a little over 6,000 Amish. So when you come to Davies County, you're going to see a rich Amish heritage. Uh, it's reflected in the farming, in the uh, quality of the restaurants, the handmade quilts and handmade furniture. Uh, we even make uh, the carriages here. Uh, Davies County is also noted for its antique shows. We have a huge antique show each year that happens here at the fairgrounds that draws people from all over the world. We have uh, quilt auctions. The quilt auction, they sell 100 different patterns of handmade quilts here each year. There's just a hundred quilts sold, each one of a different pattern, and that also draws people from all over the world as it is an American art form. If your family uh, is really interested in classic cars, we uh, have classic car shows here. We have a car club that's been going on. It's called the 20th Century Car Club. It's been going on since the 60s. About 1968 is when the car show started. Each year it brings about 600 classic and antique cars to Davies County for a two-day show that includes a cruise in, uh, a lot of activities in our park, and it's really an interesting thing for people to see that are interested in the classic cars. There's so much for you and your family to do in Davies County that you may not know where to start. No problem, the Davies County Visitors Bureau is here to help. Give them a call today at 1-800-449-5262 or visit them online at DaviesCounty.net to learn about all the ways you can treat yourself to Davies County. Thank you. 